This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Rick, I want to talk a little bit about Badlands. You and I both know what Badlands is. We both we do. We've played there before. It's a golf course that used to be over adjacent to the Queens Ridge Towers and uh, adjacent to the Queens Ridge neighborhood. Here's what happened. Badlands went away. <laughs> yes, it did. It just, just poof. You know, Badlands is, you know, what happened is it was a private, well, it was a public course uh, built in this neighborhood. And what essentially what happened was they just couldn't afford to carry it. It wasn't making enough money. Right. It was, it was, a, it was a loss uh, for the investor. It got sold. The people who bought it said, hey, we don't want to continue to run this thing at a loss. We're going to tear it down. They just basically let it go to seed. A lot of those houses in Queens were backed right up to the golf course, had beautiful views. They were, they were within the golf course spectacular views but when it went away that all went away too all those views went away and now they're just looking at basically just brown so anyway so this developer bought it and and has been trying to develop it for years and in court fighting the residents of queens ridge were fighting it uh the city was helping them fight it and basically saying to this developer no no you can't do your plan i'm sorry it has to be open space is what they were saying it has to be open space well that's kind of silly to say it had to be open space. <laughs> You're really kind of putting that, that developer in a bind. And so what's happened was recently, just a few weeks ago, there was an article in the RJ from Shay Johnson about the Clark County District Court judge agreed with the developer behind the stalled housing plans of the defunct Badlands Golf Course near Summerlin, who claimed that interference by Las Vegas City should have made the land impossible to develop. They said the city was interfering with their ability to develop. The city was saying, look, we have a right to tell you what you can do on our land. Well, the judge didn't agree with the city. The judge thought the city was Im impeding and basically... Now this developer, it's not over yet. There's three other or four other court cases involved in this thing. But this first one basically says that this developer, because of the way the, the, the land restrictions were not written, like you said, there right. was not a this designation specific to that apparently, that this developer can proceed. But my concern for the homeowners in there was always that, gee, guys, how are you going to make a golf course company come in here and, and put a golf course in when they're going to lose money? How can you make oh, yeah. somebody build something that they know they're going to lose money on? Now, Maybe that maybe it was poor management. Maybe it was other issues that caused them to lose money. I don't know that that's the case here. I'm not sure. Had had Queens Ridge wanted to get involved financially with the golf course, they could have had control. They could have said, "Yeah, right." Well, they could have bought it. They could have bought the golf course. Said, the okay, golf course. this is going to be Queens Ridge Golf Course now, and and we, you know, of course they didn't want to do that, you right. know, because well, then, then then the association loses money. My perspective is this: eventually, this is going to get resolved one way or another. Right. We don't know what it's going to be, and I'm not going to promise it's going to be this or that, but I will promise you that someday it will get resolved. And it looks like it's getting closer. It's one step yeah. closer they're to getting gonna, resolved. They're going to have a golf course, a park, or a building or, or houses. behind their house. Yes, that's, it's going to happen. That's what's going to happen. And when that happens, your values will come back at least somewhat right. because the values have been affected. Anybody who's got had that beautiful golf course view and now is looking at brown. Well, they paid a lot of money for that view. They're hurting. You've been listening to Las Vegas Real Estate Now. If you ever have a question about real estate or any of the other topics we cover, just call me off air or text me at 702-203-1165. You can also check us out on the web at lvrealestateradio.com or on our handle on social media at lvrealestateradio.